Uh, the Honourable Rick Barker. Mr Chairman, I think the member has made a very good point, <coughs> Gareth Hughes, about freedom camping. And he talks about Auckland sweeping the streets of all of the people who sleep on the street. Well, surely these are the ultimate freedom campers. Do each of these people who now sleep on the street realise that they're going to be subject to a $200 fine if they're making pre preparation for freedom camping? What does this mean for Blanket Man in Wellington? I don't think anybody's heard that this is an attack on Blanket Man's right to sleep on the streets of Wellington. But I want to come to another point. I want to come to another point. And I think the, the part of this is several points I want to make. And I can't start on the 18C, uh, 1C. And it says, makes preparation to freedom camp in a local authority area. And the same for a Department of Conservation area. Makes preparations to camp. What does that mean? Does it mean that the camper van stopped and someone's pulled on the handbrake? Because surely that is a prerequisite to freedom camping. You can't freedom camp without the vehicle being stopped and the handbrake on, as we saw tragically in Lake Hayes. So if someone's pulled the handbrake on and stopped, are they making preparations? Now, one would think that a person who did that would have a defence, but no. The National Party have made sure that there is no defence because if you go over the page <clears throat> on page 19, strict liability for uh, offences, it says in prosecuting an offence under this section, the prosecution does not need to prove that the defendant intentionally or recklessly committed offence. So there's no need to have it prove intent. So the person only needs to have stopped and have someone who is of mean spirit and had a bad day and thinks, well, I need to get something out of here, could issue an instant fine to someone for $200 because they stopped. Is it an intention to camp if someone stops, like we see on those glossy adverts, and people have a couple of chairs outside to have a cup of tea and enjoy the view? Is that an intention to camp? Very hard to prove an intention. But it gets worse, Mr Speaker. Mr Chairman, I draw members and the Minister's attention to uh, further to 1A, the new part, 1AB, which says, has caused, is likely to cause a significant concern to the communities and the users of the land in the area. A concern. Well, what's a concern? It I'm sorry have to, to interrupt have to be a the honourable member, but the time has come for me to leave the chair. This debate is suspended. I shall resume the chair at 9am tomorrow morning.